Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred on. This is another edition of Match Preview Battle. But before we get into it, we better talk about FanDuel. FanDuel is the fancy football game where you can win huge money by just entering a team and putting in a little bit of money of your own. Go to www.fanduel.co.uk and use the promo code Spurred on. And the league that we recommend once you sign up to it is the Fan Favourite Contest. That's what we've done this week. We've entered a team. There's a total pot of £7,500, so you can win loads of money in that. But also, for just a £5 entry, using our promo code, code Spurred on, you will get back any money that you lose on your first bet. So if you're not victorious in the first bet, like Jack won't be, he will get his money back. What do you think about that, Jack? Oh, that's glorious. I'm really excited about it. Look this. how pumped he is about it. <laughs> like, oh, that's glorious. Absolutely glorious. Uh, anyway, all the information is in the description box below. I will now tell you what team Spurred On have picked in FanDuel this week. As you will know if you've watched these before, we only pick current Spurs players and former Spurs players because we're purists. We will not pick Non-Spurs based players. Okay, so we've gone for Gomez in goal from Watford, Carl Walker, Toby Alderweireld, Charlie Daniels and Andros Townsend. Uh, that doesn't make sense. Three at the back. Sorry. Walker, Alderweireld and Daniels. Then five midfield. Townsend, Ali, Sigurdsson, <laughs> Kapue and Livermore and Defoe and Kane up front. It can't fail, can it, Jack? No, I think both those strikers are going to bag this week. So I think we're in luck. You think we'll win I think we'll, I think a big we'll, share of seven and a half grand? Maybe. Most importantly, guys, Let's get on to the match preview battle. Last time out, it was against Liverpool, and I can announce that I got 13 points. Jack only got 12 in terms oh. of the prediction, so I am off the mark in the league table, which currently stands at me at the bottom, three points plus 34 goal difference. Jack on top, six points plus 36 goal difference. Okay, don't forget, this is the show where we predict not over only what the team will be, the Spurs team, for uh, the Stoke match this weekend, but also the score and the scorers, and also what we think the results will be for the other clubs who we deem to be around us or who will be around us uh, for the rest of the season. So let's start with your team, Jack. A few interesting ones, I think, this week, aren't there? So what have you gone for? So obviously, I've got Vormir, because oh. he played amazingly against Liverpool. That, that save he made, I can't remember. Unbelievable, with his incredible. feet. Incredible. I think from Firmino, maybe at the maybe. back stick. I can't remember who. Coutinho, but. Firmino, sorry. But I realised, I remembered that Lloris is Coming back, so he's going to walk straight back into the team, isn't he? No matter so how. Who are you going well for in goal? Lloris. Okay, good. Rush me. Played at right back, Kyle Walker, Toby and Jan in the middle, and I think Davies is going to come in at left back because obviously, unfortunately, yeah. Rose got a hamstring injury. Team news has been in in announced. Maurizio Pochettino said, unfortunately, he's definitely out for this game. They're not sure how long it's going to be. Hopefully, not a long one, and I hope so too because yeah. uh, Danny's been in great form. Well, it's only a hamstring, so let's hope it's one yeah, or two let's hope weeks. It's not tops, snapped. Yeah. Uh, in the middle, I'm going to go for Dyer and Wanyama. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go for the usual three behind Kane, Lamella, Ali, Eriksson, mm. Kane. Eriksson hasn't been playing well recently. A lot of people... New contract, though. This is what I'm saying. New yeah. contract. He's going to want to really prove himself now and also justify himself getting a new contract. So okay, and uh, so that's your team. So you're going Lamella, Eriksson, Ali, Ali. Kane. Ali played so well for England as well. Yeah. He came on and, like we said, he absolutely changed the game. So I think he's going to get the nod uh, and start against Stoke. All right, weekend. interesting. I've got a, a couple of differences to that. Uh, in fact, maybe only one. Uh, Hugo in goal, Kyle, Ben Davis, Toby and Jan. Eric Dyer and Victor Wanyama. This, of course, is Dembele's last game suspended after the Battle of the Bridge. So he'll be back uh, after this one. Then, because Eric Lamella played oh. just last night against Venezuela for I Argentina and won't be flying back in until late today. I've gone for Deli Ali, Christian Eriksen and Hung Min Son behind Harry Kane because Son pulled himself out of international uh, training because he wanted to concentrate like on this match for Spurs. So I think he might get a chance and I hope so. Let's go for... Uh, idiot. Yeah, you are a bit of an idiot. Uh, let's go for the prediction score-wise. What are you going for? Let's not forget, uh, I got the prediction for the Liverpool match one, right. One all I went for. Do you want a medal? Yeah, I do want a medal. Oh, I'll uh, just take the three points can I, I talk? Yeah. Uh, I want it. I think it's going to be Stoke one, Spurs two. Stoke haven't won in the Premier League this season, but we always look like we're going to concede a goal in the in the games that we've been playing this season. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we're going to win this uh, comfortably. No, but uh, it's always a difficult game at Stoke. But I think we're going to get it just two. And who's going to score? Arnautovic for Stoke, oh, yeah. I believe. Uh, and Toby, I think we're going to get a goal from a set piece at some point. So Toby got on the end of a couple of balls against Liverpool uh, and he looked quite dangerous from set Looks pieces. Looks great from corners, gets he up does. so early. Bang! 
So I think he's going to get a goal. And I'm really hoping Kane gets off the mark against Stoke this weekend. So I'm going to go for him. Never scored before 26th of September, no. though. Will it happen this time? Who knows? I've also gone for Stoke City 1, Tottenham Hotspur 2. Interesting. Um, I think the Stoke scorer, even though I haven't written it on this card, will be as follows. Wilfred Bonny, Ooh. I think, will score. Okay. And for Spurs, I've gone for Christian Eriksen, new contract, new performance, and Toby Alderweireld as well. So interesting. Let's see how that changes. Now, let's talk about the other scores. The other matches mm. we're predicting, predicting are predicting. Man United against Man City, Arsenal against Southampton, Liverpool against Leicester, and Swansea against Chelsea. I'll go first. I think it will be Man United 1, Manchester City 2. Uh, I think they've got Ibrahimovic, obviously Man United. I think they will cause trouble. But I think City look like they're playing the more free-flowing Football. I think United have kind of ground out <coughs> a couple of games. Uh, I'm going to go for Woolwich 2, Southampton nil. Unfortunately, Ooh. I don't think Southampton will get anything there. I hope they do. I beg they do. I don't think they will. I've gone for Liverpool 1, Leicester City 1. I think this match suits Leicester. Liverpool will have to try and break them down. They'll hit them on the counter. But Liverpool's first match in front of their massive new stand. So they've got about 8,000 more spectators. I think it's going to be up to about... Uh, 54,000 there, be a good atmosphere, one all. And finally, Swansea nil, Chelsea two. I think they're steamrollering a bit at the moment. They've got uh, defensively more sound under Conte, and Hazard is back on form, on fire. They're my predictions. What about you? I completely forgot to put Chelsea on here, so I'll make that one up as I come to it. But more or less the same as you, apart from I think United are going to win 2 1 against City. Okay, interesting. I think it'll be the other way around because. <laughs> Yeah, Mourinho's, Mourinho's just going to get them absolutely pumped for this. Yeah, that's true. Uh, and Early kickoff, though, sometimes, sometimes they can be a bit <laughs> turgid. Nope. I think it'll be United 2, City 1. Um, Arsenal, their result, like you, like, just like you, uh, I think they're going to win 2-0 against Southampton. Obviously, they, they beat Watford quite comfortably. Yeah. They seem to be scoring quite a few goals. And Southampton haven't been that great this season, so I think, yeah, I can't see them scoring a goal either. Liverpool won, Leicester won, same as you again. Liverpool, have, they drew against us last You've time. You've just been out. copying my card. Yeah, mate, I looked over and just completely copied your card. Idiot. Uh, so, I, yeah, I can only see that being a score draw. I can't see it being a nil-nil. I think it'd be a one-all yeah. because, um, yeah. Because that's what and you think. And what's, what's the last Swansea one? Swansea against Chelsea. Chelsea will win that because, again, Swansea haven't been that great either. Uh, I'm going to go 3-0 Chelsea, Three just to be different to you. 3-0 Chelsea. Guys, let us know what your predictions are in the comments box below. Are we right? Have we got the team right? Have you entered FanDuel? And if you have, let us know how you did last time because we will be uh, looking out for the guys who beat us. And uh, let us know if you do sign up for this one as well and we will keep an eye out for the league table. Anyone who does better than us will get a shout out. So let us know if you're signing up for FanDuel. You just have to spend a little bit of money and you can potentially win loads and loads of thousands of pounds. You can also enter for free as well, can't you? If you you don't, can if you don't enter for free, but Amen. frankly, who doesn't like spending a bit of money? And don't forget, you do have to be 18 years or over, unfortunately, if you're younger than that. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow us on Twitter and Facebook, at Spurred on TV, and we will see you next week. Come on, you Spurs. Come on, you Spurs. Hi, guys. Barno B for Spurred on and your regular Tuesday edition of Spurberts. Once again with Squawkers, Greg Stobart. Hey, Greg. I'm very good, thanks. Good. Obviously, 